Hi there and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I last posted a video and in that time I have had a baby. I've got now got a six week old, no seven week old daughter called Evie and she's lovely and gorgeous but um, I've been a little bit busy. So yeah that's why I haven't uploaded anything for a while but if you are new to my channel then hello my name's Lucy I am a mum of three and I post videos on motherhood interiors lifestyle that kind of thing so today's video I thought um, I should do something baby orientated and so this is a video about all the things you need in your bedroom with a newborn baby to make your life go smoothly those first few weeks when you're being woken up at a stupid o'clock in the morning. Now these are just things that I've thought over the years, you know, this is my third child so I'm, I feel like I'm kind of used to this. Um, but these are items that I think are handy to have close by. If you watch this video and you think there's anything that I've missed out, then please leave a comment and let me know because I'd really like to hear. But I'm all about making life easy. So if you'd like to see what my essential items are, then keep watching. This is my changing area for in the night. I like to have everything ready so I'm not searching around at four o'clock in the morning looking for either bum cream or nappy sacks and waking up <laughs> the whole house because I can't find something. So if I've got everything ready then we can have a nice quick easy bum change without too much disturbance to the baby and too much disturbance to the rest of the house. I also like to keep a spare set of clothes. I've got a vest there and a sleep suit just in case there's a little bit of sicky or you know a leaking nappy because that unfortunately does happen just because it's four o'clock in the morning that's not going to stop the baby. Something else that I think is an essential to have close to hand is a muzzy, muslin. If you're going to be doing night feeds then you're bound to have a little bit of sick or spit up so it's just good to have one of these so you can just do a quick little clean up should you need it. A room thermometer is also really handy. I got this one with Evie's grow bag that we bought her. The reason I like this one is because it tells you, as you can see down the side here, what tog they should be wearing depending on the temperature in the bedroom. Um, I was pregnant when we had that mega, mega heat wave, but I think it's still important to keep an eye on the temperature as we're going into winter you're going to have the central heating on so you don't want the room being too hot or too cold you know we all know that babies can't regulate their own temperature so something like this is really handy to have something else that is quite handy to have is a thermometer if you're concerned about your baby at all you think they feel a bit hot or they seem unwell for peace of mind, it's good to have one of these close by so you can just check their temperature and make sure everything's okay. The last thing you want to be doing is thinking, where the hell is my thermometer at two o'clock in the morning, especially if you're worried about baby. So changing nappies, changing bedding, checking your child's temperature, all of that is impossible to do really in the dark so my advice would be to have a bedside lamp or something with a low light that's gonna 
enable you to see what you're doing but you don't want it so bright that it wakes the baby up and they become really alert and then you've got to spend ages getting them back to sleep again because no, nobody wants that and you also don't want to wake your other half up if you've got you know if you're sharing the bedroom with somebody so I try and keep the room as dark as possible but just with enough light for me to see what I'm doing and actually I find the torch on my phone gives me enough light to do this I do have a bedside light but that I think is just a little bit too bright so in this instance the torch works fine for me underneath Evie's snooze pod I keep a selection of muslins and blankets and sheets just to um, just to have on standby in case there's any you know exploding nappy incidents or there's any sick that's got onto the sheets I don't want to again be waking up the household by you know getting clean bedding and clean, you know muslins out the cupboard so knowing that they're just underneath the snooze pod they're right there should I need them thanks for watching this video I hope you found it useful if you liked it then please give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.